Hi, so we have Team Singapore swimmer Rowan Ho with us in the house today and I'm going to ask her a series of really tough questions. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Starting with the very first question, which I'm very curious to find out. So what's your favourite food, Rowan? Uh, um, before you answer that, um, just take note that we're not going to show this to the sports dietitians. Okay. So it's fine. And by sports dietitians, I mean you guys, you know, Singhui and Cheryl. Yeah. So feel free to answer you know, uh, honestly. Okay. Actually, I have a lot of favourite food, but I think my ultimate favourite would probably be roti prata. And why would that be? Why, why roti prata in particular? I mean, it's crispy and it's like nice and hot with the curry. It's so nice. Um, I like kosong. Kosong roti prata oh, is the kosong. best. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to ask like, which form of prata is her favourite and so yeah. it's kosong with the curry yeah. and not sugar. No. Yep. Yeah, we know why. Um, moving on, we also like to know, is there any genre of music that you like particularly? Is there anything that you listen to, you know? before you hit the waters? Okay. Um, actually, I listen to different genres for different times. Um, before, races will be a more like more of like house kind of music and like clubbing kind of music. <laughs> but usually I like to just listen to like alternative kind of music, like indie alternative kind oh, of stuff. Yeah. Like during your leisure time? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, like I like um, ba uh, bands like the XX and like um, Secrets After Sex, that kind of thing. Okay, oh my god, maybe I shouldn't have said sex. <laughs> No, that's fine. It's a bad name. <laughs> I mean, I, I usually listen to Despacito before I hit the gym, I guess. N nobody really cares, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, moving on. Hand you over to Random. So, Ryan, I think everyone wants to find out um, back home, like, what, what, how do you maintain a life, healthy uh, work-life balance, as well as how do you relax? And lastly, you know, um, what movie, what was the last movie that you watched? Um, healthy work-life balance, um of course, I train most of the time, so usually my weekends when I'm not training, I will usually hang out with my friends and my family. Yep. Um, last movie I watched was uh, Baby Driver. Baby Driver. I really, really recommend it. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you heard it. Baby Driver. Okay, um, we, we want to find out, uh, as you're growing up, what, who was the most inspiring uh, person that, or, or thing that you, you, uh, you look up to uh, as you were you know, uh, coming through the ranks? Um, probably my dad, because my dad has always been there for me, always supporting me. And like, even when I don't do well, he never ever scolds me. He just said like, as long as I did my best, he'll be very proud of me. So definitely my dad. Yeah. you have something to say to your dad right now? Hi Pa, thanks for all your support. I love you. <laughs> okay, Gary. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Dads are the best, man. I know, because I'm a dad. Uh. <laughs> Hi, son. Yeah. Okay, so moving on, on, on a more serious note, you know, how has the support team, you know, the team around the team been helping you throughout your journey as an athlete and by that I mean your coaches mm -hmm. as well as the folks from the Singapore Sports yeah. Institute. Yeah. How have they come in to help you throughout your entire journey as, a, as an athlete? Okay. Yeah. Well my coaches definitely help a lot because I see them like, almost, almost every day so and they're also with me like every single training session so they always have to encourage me and when I'm not feeling so good they will sort of talk, talk me through it and try and help me out. Um, for the support team it will be a lot of them. I see the physio once a week for my shoulder and I also go for massage every week. I also see Rico the nutritionist and I also go to the gym with Danny like twice a week so definitely like without them I would be struggling a lot and I wouldn't be where I am today so they definitely have helped me a lot yeah. Awesome and that, you know from what Rowan has shared you know you can tell there's a really really huge team behind all our athletes you know she was just rallying on name after name over there. I'm sure she missed out a few as yeah. well that she couldn't thank. I yeah. <laughs> so kudos to the team around the team that have been helping our athletes, you know, be it during major games or during the off-peak season as well, getting them ready for the major games. Um, okay, so moving ahead, Rowan, we understand that you've been through some injuries yeah. the past year, yeah. which includes a collapsed lung mm -hmm. and there was some, you had to do some yeah. surgery yeah. for your shoulder. Yeah. So how do you overcome all these challenges, you know, to rise to the occasion and basically achieve what you have achieved so far? Um, I guess you just have to learn to take it one day at a time and not look so far ahead. I guess you have to sort of prioritize like when you're injured, you're like, okay, so then the first thing is to recover before you think about training harder. So once you recover, then you can, you can slowly incorporate like other things to slowly get better and where you were before again. So I guess it also helps that I had a very strong support team with like my coaches and also the, the physios in SSI as well as my teammates who day in, day out always like encourage me and also my family who also played a very very big part in this so yeah just surround yourself with people who love and care for you yeah. well said could have said it any better so the next time you watch the team Singapore athlete competing remember this you know most of them have been through so much to get to where they are today 
So besides sharing the success, we, sh we should also sh join them, you know, in cheering them on when they're not doing so well and to basically get them to where they are today. So lastly, any words of advice for aspiring athletes out there who are looking to, you know, go on the same path as yourself? I would say if it's something that you really want, just do it. Even if you get some setbacks in your life, it doesn't mean that you give up. It just means you pick yourself up and try again. Because the only easy day was yesterday. <laughs> wow, that's <coughs> quote unquote by Rowan Ho here, our Team Singapore swimmer. So last but not least, we would like you to autograph some okay, sure. merchandise for our fans okay. out there. This one on the, on the cover? Uh, yes, please. So you could use the back marker for that. And then we'll use the gold for the rest. So to win all this exclusively autograph merchandise by Rowan, all you need to do is to like and share this video and you will stand a chance to win this exclusive autograph merchandise by Rowan. There's one last thing that you need to sign. There's one last thing you need to sign is uh, oh a piece goodness. of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Not really? No. no, no, this is just one of the memorabilia that we're giving out. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> so for the heart, if you could just autograph wait, oh, wait, and write oh. a message, uh, like, gold oh. would be good. Okay. Gold, yeah. Yeah, gold. You a message? Yeah, you could autograph on one side and with a message, a okay. short message on the other. Oh no. Yeah, so this is a bit, yeah, fluffy. You gotta be gentle. Are you writing? <laughs> That's your heart, fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your support. Not exactly very short, but yeah. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Oh, so fluffy. You gotta work out your heart, man. Make it tougher. Make it harder, right? <laughs> And we're done. So there you have it guys. Remember to win all this exclusive autograph merchandise. Simply like and share our video. And be sure to catch all the rest of our series of athlete interviews that we have on the Sports Singapore YouTube channel. This is Gary. This is Randall. Signing off.